So you've got an assembly in FreeCAD of something you've designed, all the different parts put together here in an assembly on the assembly workbench, as you can see over here in the tree. We're looking at an assembly of several different parts. Let's say you wanted to get this into Blender uh, to do some more tricky animation and lighting and perhaps different better materials and so on. What would be the easiest way to get your entire assembly over to Blender in one go and still maintain all of the separate components, materials, and their relationship to each other in 3D space? Well, there is a very easy way. Uh, one preface I want to mention, first off, something that will save you a step over in Blender, but you could do it in Blender instead of here, if you assign different materials to your different parts in FreeCAD, when we get over to Blender, they will automatically have unique materials and it can save you some time. And you can do that by, um, if we look at, let me hide the assembly, and we'll go on, we'll look at, say, the case top by itself. If I take the body for the case top and I right click on it and I select material, I can assign a material to it. By default, they all have what's called a default material, but you can choose something different. Like I'll choose plastic. And this affects the appearance when it's in FreeCAD, but it also assigns that attribute to that particular component. It now has a material attribute assigned to it. So let's go back to the assembly. Let me hide that and we'll bring our assembly back. So how do we get this to Blender? Well, there is a specific format that we can export in that preserves a lot of this information. I'm going to select the assembly over in the model tree. Make sure it's selected. Not one of the components, not one of the parts, not multiple parts, just the assembly. And I'm going to come up to the file menu and say export. And then the file format we want to use is this bottom one, GLTF. Okay? That's what we want to use, GLTF. And I will export that as a GLTF file. Now let's go over to Blender. So here in Blender, I have taken the default scene and only modified it slightly. I took the default cube and flattened it out a bit and brought the default light in a bit closer. But basically, this is the default scene. If we look up here at the right, uh, at the scene collection, you can see we only have the camera, the cube, and the light. And we are going to import our assembly. The cursor is going to dictate where the import takes place. Let's go to the File menu and down to Import. And if we scroll down, look at this, GLTF, the same file format. I'll select that, and I will select my assembly. And there it is. Now, it looks pretty small, but that's because this is uh, meters across, and that is just a few centimeters in size. Let me pull it up. I guess I didn't have the cursor right on the surface. Let me bring it up. You know what? I'm going to scale it up as long as we've got it here. Uh, let's go ahead and scale so we can see it better to work with. And I'll bring it up here to the surface of the cube. And there we go. Okay, look at that. We have our complete assembly, and you can see the different colors because each of these already had a material assigned to them over in FreeCAD. And if we look over here at the right at our, uh, our collection, you can see assembly. That was the name of it. If I had named my assembly in FreeCAD, it would have the name here. Let's expand that. And underneath, you can see body, case bottom, dual button, front panel, single button. These are the names that I had applied to these over in the assembly. Let me pop back over to FreeCAD. And you can see under the assembly, case bottom, front panel, body, dual button, single button, it preserved the names for us. Back over to Blender. So we have each of our individual objects, uh, like the dual button there. I can move that and you can see it's a separate object. And if we go down here to materials, 
it has a unique material. The dual button has this material, mat 3. Front panel has this one, mat 1. The single button has mat 4. So since I applied different materials to them in FreeCAD, they already have different materials over here. And even the colors, if you look, I think, let me go back to FreeCAD. Blue, green, different shades of green, over to Blender. Blue, green, different shades of green. Even the colors, by default, came over with the object. And then we could, of course, fine-tune materials over here in Blender if we wanted to. Uh, to give them glossiness, turn them into glass, whatever we wanted to do. We could also further edit the objects themselves. If I go into edit mode, you can see all the faces are there. So we could go in and we could adjust and, and assign different materials to faces if we wanted to, etc. So we could go further with it. But by default, our entire assembly came in intact, everything in the right position, and as unique objects. And this would make animating extremely easy. We don't have to worry about meshes like we would with STL. They're already separated out. So let's say we're going to do a, a 60 frame animation. All right, I'll set the end here to 60. And we'll go to frame 60. And I think the last thing I want to have in the animation would be the cover dropping down from above, right? So for frame 60, I'm going to keyframe the cover where I want it to be. I'll type K and a location. And then let's uh, go back to, say, frame 40. And at frame 40, I'm going to move the cover up out of the way. And we'll keyframe it there. And then at, at frame 40, I want the buttons to have moved into place. So I'm going to keyframe them here because this is where I want them to be in place location, location, and then we'll go back to frame 30, and at frame 30, I'm going to move the buttons in and keyframe that there, and these buttons in, and we'll keyframe those there, and uh, let's say by frame 20, I wanted the front panel to be in place, so I'm going to keyframe it at frame 20, and then we'll go down to frame 0, and I will move the front panel. Well, forward and keyframe it there. Now I should have an animation. Let's see. Ta-da! <laughs> so that's just a quick example. Uh, but using that particular file format is the key. That brings your entire assembly in as objects with their names, with different materials if you've assigned them in FreeCAD, and it saves you a lot of work in setting up an animation. I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.